I mean. And even if I could, I'm not really sure I'd feel like it. A quote from a cynical, troubled, and naive boy. Holden Caulfield is a conflicted teenager, struggling with his angst and insecurities of growing up in a world that he believes is so polluted with phonies. This novel, The Catcher in the Rye, is the most paramount depiction of teenage angst because 21st century teenagers can still relate to the protagonist, Holden Caulfield's insecurities, resistance to change, and narrative voice to a significant extent. Holden's experiences throughout the novel are still a custom in today's society, are relatable to modern day teens. This reiterates the relatability of J.D. Salinger's novel. A prevalent theme throughout the novel is Holden's annoyance with the phonies of the world and rebellion towards societal norms, eventuating him to isolate himself from everyone and everything. We all know that the time of adolescence is the period between childhood and adulthood. Some can agree it is one of the hardest and awkwardest times of their lives, but also the most exciting. Researchers Carol Gillen and Deborah Tannen explain that the hormonal changes of puberty affects emotions of adolescence. This leads to adolescents to question authority, societal values. Holden very much dislikes to follow authority and repetitively uses the word phony throughout the novel. Holden pushes everything he believes is wrong with the world towards the phonies that run it. Because he believes that the world is so poisoned with the phonies, this makes him want to become even more removed from the outside world, causing self-isolation. One of the ways he shows his self-isolation is through a conversation with his friend Ackley about his hat. Ackley took another look at my hat. Up home we wear a hat like that to shoot deer in, for Christ's sake, he said. That's a deer shooting hat. Like hell it is. I took it off and looked at it. I sort of closed one eye like I was taking aim at it. This is a people shooting hat, I said. I shoot people in this hat. Ackley tries to point out to Holden that in fact this is a deer shooting hat. Holden immediately replies that this is a people shooting hat. Holden is purposely trying to cause confrontation and alienate Ackley so that he is not the one being alienated. For Holden, the red hunting hat is also a symbol of self-protection. When Holden is wearing the hat or talking about it, we understand that he is trying to remove himself from others and try to be his own individual. When Holden does this, it tells the reader that Holden purposely excludes himself from others especially when they do not share the similar views. Holden also shows how much he values his red hunting hat on this quote on page 21. I pulled the peak around to the back again, and then I relaxed. The, word, the use of the word relax shows Holden feels security and comfort while wearing the hat. He looks for confirmation that wearing the hat is all right, that the hat is something Holden really values, so therefore he is more relaxed and doing things whilst in it he feels like a more confident version of himself comes out. Throughout the novel, Holden is in a constant search for his identity and shows things like angst, escapism, and the desire of running away from reality. He tries to escape when he feels very depressed and when he feels like he isn't being heard or that no one understands. What I really felt like, though, was committing suicide. I felt like jumping out the window. I probably would have done it too if I'd been sure somebody come cover me up as soon as I landed. With Holden's deteriorating mental state and clouded views, he believes that the best way to escape his troubled life is by taking his own. Although him committing suicide is mentioned time and time again throughout the novel and is seen to progressively intensify, Holden never actually commits suicide. The reader can see that Holden has some sort of fascination towards death and the idea of death is always on his mind. Holden's mental state fluctuates majorly throughout the novel. When Holden's mental state is usually at its lowest, we see Holden escape his troubles by talking to his brother, Ali. His younger brother, who Holden shared a very close bond with, passed away when he was nine. When Holden feels helpless and on his own, he repetitively turns to his brother, Ali, for help. Holden ultimately knows that he won't be answered and he can't have a conversation with him, but he still values the conversations that they do have. Holden rejects all people around him to talk to Ali because he knows that he will listen. This is a form of escapism as he removes himself from real people and real connections to ultimately talk to himself. The song Breakout, sung by Miley Cyrus, a singer those of the 21st century generation would have all heard of. 
The song is about escaping from responsibilities and having fun, trying to find themselves through their teenage years. Stuck in school, so lame, tired of being told what to do, so unfair, so uncool. The section of the song represents teenage angst to a significant extent. The song reiterates the te that teens going through this stage in their life just want to escape from authority and do what makes them happy. It further explains going through the journey of school and day-to-day -day orders from parents and teachers, making teens want to escape to a different reality. It is evident that the capture in the right is the most overriding representation of teenage angst in the 21st century. Modern day teenagers relate significantly to the capture in the right's main protagonist, Holden Caulfield. Holden's search for identity, angst, and cynical view of the rest of the world is something we all can relate to while we make our journey through the stage of childhood to adulthood.